reminder to the viewers out there on YouTube, if you want to zoom in on that little TV in the corner, that's up to you. We won't be offended if you don't want to see our faces. But it is there available. You could make it bigger. If Don't complain that it's too small. You could make it bigger. All you got to do is with your finger, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we had a little uh, story time with Adam Cole, Bebe, where he told the story of how he formed the Undisputed Kingdom and, you know, dethroned the evil MJF. They are united by undisputed hatred, right? Is that what they said? <laughs> that group of guys. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of thought it was all right. But overall, I think Adam Cole has not been taken seriously, especially since he's had this injury. He shouldn't be out there, I think, because he's, he's too easy a target to make fun of. Anyone who's out there could, could make fun of him that he's freaking on a wheelchair walking around. And how long is this injury going to take to heal? Man? Th this is the guy Tony Khan loves. These guys must have had a party and really hit it off because he has given him the biggest starring role on this show that I don't know if he deserves, but okay. If anyone doesn't have comments, I'm going to move on to this war low match no with okay. Samoa Joe. Well, hold on, Robert wants to say something. Well, not, not, not on necessarily this, this segment, but the actual match, but I don't know if you want to talk about the match first. Oh yeah. Well yeah, alright. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's move to on to the match. So, okay. so the Undisputed Kingdom's Ward Low has a big, big world title match tonight against Samoa Joe. Wardlow, who cut a fiery promo the past, I think, uh, on Collision and on Dynamite. And Both. trying to make, put himself over, make himself legit the way he thinks he is. So, you know, we were all wondering what's going to happen now. He was supposedly a future world champion. Everyone said that for, for years, right? That he was kind of touted to be the world champion eventually. I mean, here he is on a match on Dynamite. It is big business, but I kind of didn't get the sense there was going to be a title change on this night. Did you, Vlad? Did you have any sense that there could be a title change? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero yeah. Well, they did get... Uh, no I'm going to skip through the match. Warlow did get some good offense in. He didn't look terrible. You know, he had some mojo on the ropes for some of the time. But the end of the match came, and... Joe just choked him out and won clean and there was no interference and there was no help from the Undisputed Kingdom at all. Where were they? I don't know. So, I guess before we get to the aftermath of what happened, we might as well just stick to this. Robert, did you say you were going to have any comments about this match, this yeah. world title match? Yeah, okay, so I guess for people who have been consistently watching us, you probably noticed I'm not as critical of AEW and Tony Khan as uh, the two of you are. I had to be critical on this one. Oh my god! This is this is this is for the main championship is on the line. Why is this the first match of the show? This should have oh. been the main event. I have an answer to that. That, I have that an answer made to that. absolutely <laughs> no sense. So I, I I was like when this match started and they stated that the actual title was on the line which is their main championship belt, right? Uh, the, the world yeah. title. Like, it made no sense that this was starting the show as opposed to closing. Traditionally, you know, what, what you're supposed to do with the main title match is that should be the close. Uh, it happens in pay-per-views. It happens in TV shows as well. Like, it's very rare where it actually makes sense where the main title match is not the main event. I think the very rare occasion where I can remember that happening is probably The Rock versus John Cena's their first match. Uh, I don't remember which WrestleMania that was, but the, the one that was in Miami, they were the main event, but the title, there was no title involved. That made sense because we're talking about The Rock versus John Cena. But yeah. in most others, uh, pretty much yeah, any other dynamite. scenario. Yeah, this is pretty much any other scenario, whether it's a pay-per-view well, or a uh, television Reho show. Riho versus Willow was on the card, so how can you put anything over that? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's why. That's the reason. Okay. That, right, you know, that's what yeah, you were going to yeah, say, Vlad. It's, it's, it's funny. It's yeah, funny. That you exactly bring, okay. You know, it's it's funny that you bring that up, Kehan, because I, I have been uh, very harsh on Riho. Pretty much every time you brought her he's name gonna up, say she, and, he's going to say she had a good match. With, and uh, I know I I actually thought she looked good in in her match um, uh, later on in the God. night, just, despite the loss. However, I think she always looks still, good. 
Okay. Well, I, I thought she looked better in this one. Okay, whatever. Hold on. But, what's what's in this what's in this beer? Wait, hold on. I, I am I taking crazy I, pulls? What's happening? Maybe you are. Maybe I am too. But hey, I, I thought Riho actually looked good in her match um in the actual main event, but I don't think it should have been the main event. I think this should have been just because the title was on the line. But I, I know I'm gonna. I think I know what you're gonna say as as to why they put this on first. Okay, I'll say, but I'll say it anyways because I think I think you know what I'm gonna say is the ratings for AEW, right? We know this usually start off pretty decent, and by the second hour they pit fall into like under seven hundred thousand or seven hundred thousand. So they didn't want to put this on where nobody's watching. They wanted to put it on right after the opening segment with Mercedes because they knew that people hopefully are still watching the show. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much that's, it, but that's, that's the only reason they put on at that yeah. time. Okay. They don't. They know by the end they're gonna lose all their viewers. They want as many. They're people gonna lose this. at least one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand people, most likely. So they might as well put it on when they get the most viewers or the most possible viewers. That's the reason. Now, as far as the booking on this, this is something else. First, okay, I don't understand. I don't understand this whole match. Like, first of all, they had Wardlow cut these fiery promos where it looks like we said, like, hey, let's just see what happens. Maybe they're going to do something with this guy. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, we said, let's see, because he does have something. He's a big, tall, jacked-up, strong-looking guy. You'd think you could do something with him, right? Somebody this big. You would think. So you cut these fire promos, how, like, it's his time, and, you know, everybody that should be put to jail because he never got his push. And then in this match, where they could have... I mean, I'm not saying there should have been a title change. Obviously, Joe should have left as champion, but did they have to have him get submitted? Could they have not had his whole group interfere and cause a disqualification to save face? Yeah. I don't even understand. This is booking outrageous with... booking. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. Booking. It's outrageous, and it's, like, nonsensical. It's, like, stupid. It's, it's awful. Of... It's awful. It's so sad What was the Warlo point? What was the point of those promos? I don't understand. What were Robert, why did he let why did they let him do that? Why did they let him Robert, go out and do that? I was watching this at my job yesterday because I didn't see it Wednesday night. So on Thursday okay. I took it with me on my phone. Uh -huh. And I saw what happened and I texted Vlad three words. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He just got choked out. He just got choked out. You don't do that in wrestling. Give him an out. He has, he has a whole group. He has a whole stable. A group. He has a heel stable. stable. Why did they interfere? Why oh did they just leave him to get, to get beat like that? It made zero sense. They're a heel stable. Why did he have to get beat? He, they, he didn't need to get beat is the point. They could have get him on out. They could have disqualified. It could have been a disqualification. It would have been fine. Nobody expected him to win the title, but nobody expected him to get just submitted in the middle of the ring either. Jesus God, fucking this, Christ. This is a disaster. All right, I got to move on from that just because it's too difficult yeah. to talk about. But I mean, Robert, you agree with that, right? I mean, right? It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty nonsensical. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks for fucking Wardlow, man. I don't know what the hell no. they could do with him right now. You can't. As, as Jim Cornette would say, you might as well have pissed in his mouth while he was down there. <laughs> Well, no, I, there, there's only one thing you could do with him now is for him. Hope to God his contract ends soon and, and he goes to NXT because other oh, than that, he, he's got no chance to succeed in this company anymore. That ship is, uh, this was the final straw in that they killed any chance for Wardlow to do anything, I think. Well, the aftermath of it was Swerve Strickland coming out and fighting through security to attack Joe, but Joe had already had a match. So Joe was not really about trying to stay there and have a little confrontation with Swerve Strickland. So he backs out. But Swerve did look cool doing this. You know, it's kind of our thing where we – some things are nice about AEW, but some things are maddening. You know, like we'll, yeah. we'll praise Swerve's performance here. But, you know, I like Swerve. Sure, yeah, exactly. But coming off of what just happened, it's pretty horrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs>